Last night I signed, I uh, put the sealer on this thing, and I'm just going to give you a little update. <laughs> I dropped this thing while I was painting it two times. So, in fast forward mode, this is up on my channel already, and in fast forward mode, <laughs> it shows me dropping a couple times and landing like this, and... I took a marker and I painted. I wonder if that came off. I guess I need a better marker. I painted that part right there. I think that's the the paint chipped off when it fell because I was I was thinking I don't really see it on the on the mat and it wasn't on the sponge brush when I was painting the sealer on and. I am now looking, looking for a permanent marker that I could use to paint that. Oh, I gotta have a permanent marker. I got a ton of permanent markers around here. Oh, let's use one of these new ones. Cause I, this is not a thing, a thing thing. I'm gonna use no. Oh, I got. I need to find out. I just had to fill in the color. Is this purple? Royal blue. It should be that color. Isn't that royal blue? These are alcohol ink markers. Ooh, that's probably the cl closest I'm going to get, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom down for you so you can see <laughs> too too close there. Okay, we have that blue in the screen panel. This blue right here, royal blue, that looks like it's matching. That does not look like it's matching. But this, like, not in the screen panel, it does look like it's matching. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I know this one, uh, indigo blue. No, this won't. Too dark. <laughs> Darkish, purplish type of deal. No. I'm gonna try... I'm going to try this one. What was that? The royal blue one, right? If I'm wrong... <laughs> I'm cringing. If I'm wrong. Okay. Is that a, a hair? Oh, and then when I was putting it away last night to dry, I wanted to put it in the bathroom so the cat, so blue wouldn't lick it because blue eats everything eats everything, licks everything, it's like, I think this cat was a goat in his former life. I'm not sure. Today in the hallway, he was eating something, I thought, okay, he's eating that moth, because there was a moth flying around, and I, he walked away, and I looked down, there was something shiny on the floor, and I picked it up, it was a paintbrush sleeve, you know those little clear straws? Only, they're only about that big. I hope it was only about that big, because it was just a little bit smaller than he had chomped on. And I'm like, what are you doing? You're going to get sick. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to have to take you to the, the vet again because you ate plastic. Hmm. That looks very bright. Is it going to stay on? I have no idea. If this is going to stay on this sealer. But it's a pretty good, pretty close match. Am I off screen? No, I'm not. Maybe it was this one. I think it was that. Okay, that looks close enough. <laughs> also, I don't know why I'm fixing that because... When I 
use these. I'm going to use it like that. This is not dirty, by the way. Uh, it's the it's the caramel. I guess it's a caramel color from what it was. It was a caramel strudel cake or coffee cake or something. Uh oh, I'm yawning. Uh, that was in there, and it was the sauce, the caramel sauce, that's now just permanently in there. I have scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed this inside to get everything out. So I know that, um, you know, it's basically clean. I'll probably use, use this for like binder clips or something like that. Or maybe yeah, I'll paint the inside, the bottom inside here. I could use my marker. <laughs> I could use my Winsor Newton Pro markers. Ooh la la. All right, do you think I'm ruining this? I hope you don't think I'm ruining this. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. I would like a chisel tip, a soft chisel tip, please. Alcohol ink marker makers. Soft chisel tip, not a soft. Well, a soft bullet would be good, too. So, of course, this is after the fact, after the 100 Things Challenge. This is just, oh, look at that. That's cool. You see how it's, that's cool. <laughs> I was watching Miriam, Miriam with a Y, Miriam's Nature. She always says, Hello, this is Miriam with a Y, and I'm thinking, is it really that important <laughs> that, I guess it is, you know, my name, my last, my, the end of my first name is spelled with an I, not a Y. That's cool. It's water. It looks like water. Ooh, it's art. That's cool, actually. That looks like bubbles. What if I put different color blues in it? What if I do? Hmm, might not get the same effect. So darker color. This is the uh, indigo. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. How about the light color? I know. I'm mucking up my markers. Oh yeah, definitely like the lighter. The lighter color in there. What was I talking about? I totally went off track. Out of sight, out of mind. Cool. I also had to get, when I got this kit, it did not come with a blending marker. I hate kids that do that. <laughs> it's like... It smells like alcohol. Like rubbing alcohol. I know, I'm ruining it. Oh, so I was watching Miriam. That's what I was talking about. I was watching Miriam... And she has, she was talking about 
this new white paper, white plastic paper by Graphics. And she said, it is the, it's better than Yupo and cheaper than Yupo. And I was like, oh. That might be something to play with because I, I love to experiment with this stuff, you know. That looks awesome. Let's try swirls. Now I no longer have to worry about the caramel coloring at the bottom of this dish, making it look all dirty and everything. Doodling. I don't know what my computer's doing. But I can tell you this. <laughs> the, I paused the Windows updates. And the day it's supposed to unpause was May 22nd. So I am waiting for the another big update from Microsoft. And hopefully it won't kill my computer. Oh. Is she outside? Okay. That is so cool. I'm going to keep it just like that. <laughs> See how it dries. See if it stays like that. I don't know. I might have to do the inside because look at that. <laughs> well, I was tried out my markers. Um, this is not a... Uh, this video is... The intention of this video is not to try out the markers. Sammy, this is very interesting that you... Must have done it like that or something to see. I think what the reason I did it like that, I wanted to see if I could get an additional one in there because the blender is a separate color. That sounds like Luna. Let your dog in. <laughs> Neighbors. Blue, check it out. Check it out, Blue. No, no, don't check this out. Oh, Blue Moon. This is not yours, Mr. Plastic Eater. Are you gonna go check out the dog? What's the dog saying? I'm gonna go check out the dog. <laughs> Blue says, what you doing? So, what was I saying? Now I'm gonna have to check out that graphics paper. Excuse my reach. The graphics paper. Because... I'm just BSing here. How much? All right, it's only been 15 minutes. <laughs> only. It's only been 15 minutes. Because it, um, it's wonderful. It, it erases everything. And Miriam was saying her favorite, what was her favorite? Her favorite ink to use, alcohol ink to use, is stains everything else. Like it stains the Yupo paper. And. I'm not sure she said it stained the tile, like ceramic tile that she's used it on. But she says almost everything that she uses that on, there it leaves behind a stain. So, but not with the graphics paper. With the graphics paper, it cleans right up. And she was just astounded by that. She's just, that is awesome. She said the very significant difference there between the graphics paper and the Yupo paper. Oh, that's cool, too. This might be a waste of this marker, but... Nah, 
nothing's a waste if you're trying, if you're experimenting. It's a waste to just let it sit there and do nothing. I want to make sure I'm in camera. I might have been off camera there. I'm sorry about that. When I get to color in, I just lose all track of time. Might Windsor and Newton have bottles of alcohol inks for us to play with? The ribbed areas, it sounds cool. Will it sound cool later? <laughs> I don't know. I always say that. I always wonder if it's going to sound annoying to me in video editing or if it's not going to be annoying. And so I was playing around with the binder clips for, what was that for? The... Man, I just, I just uploaded it. I think I just uploaded a video for that. Maybe not. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I was just watching a video, one of my videos where I was, oh, the car air freshener, that's what it was. Yeah, that video is uploaded. And I was asking, I guess I was asking the audience, does this, is just, is this your, does this bother you or, um, I was also wondering, is it going to bother me later on in editing? And it didn't really bother me at all. But something like crinkly plastic, that is very annoying. It's not annoying when I'm doing it in real time, but it's very annoying when I'm watching it in video editing. And I know that it's a, it's a sound that uh, bothers a lot of people. Oh no, does that make me average? Oh no. <laughs> I don't want to be average. Why be normal? It's so overrated. Too many people try to be perfect, which means they try to be normal or try to be average, you know. They try not to. They don't want anything to go wrong. So I was watching, um, like, when I'm on video, a lot of things go wrong, and I'm okay with it, you know. It's just stuff happens, and... Yeah, you thought I was going to say that other S word, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Stuff happens, and we, you know, for whatever reason, we can't control it. So I was thinking, what makes us uh, do things correctly off video, and then when we get on video, things just go awry? And I was watching uh, Amy's, I was on Amy's channel tonight, and I was watching a few, a couple of her videos, actually. Just I think it was just two. And she was, she was making napkin papers. I think I think that's what she called them, not paper napkins, but napkin papers, where she put um, the first sheet of the napkin, uh, the design over coloring book designs, and that it, it looked really cool, you know. And I was like. And then she was saying, she was showing the stuff for next week, which was, um, oh, I can't even remember. It was, it's some type of makeup powder. And she said, she was trying to get the lid off, and she said, this worked perfectly. I didn't have any problems at all earlier before I was on camera. And I was like, yep, that's, <laughs> that's how it works. And so I made a comment. I, I said I call that Murphy's Law of Videography because I'm the same way. Everything works before I turn on the record button. <laughs> and then after that, all bets are off. So I think it's because we are trying to do our best on the video and we're trying to... Uh, we're trying to do the right thing for our viewers. You know, we want we don't want to upset anybody and we don't want to make our videos boring or anything like that you might think this is boring <laughs> and I, I think that's what happens I think we just uh, we start thinking I need to please I need to please and then that's when things start to go wrong because we're doing our very best not to let things go wrong but 
then it happens, you know, it's like, okay. So if you just kind of sit back, and that's why a lot of us also say nothing is perfect. Like Crazy Rebecca always says, perfection is not the goal, you know, and that's something that we should all live live by because nothing and no one is perfect. So that's why we need to stop striving for that I wanted everything to be perfect type of deal because it's just way too stressful to be like that so to keep in mind I try when I try and do videos the more relaxed I am the less mistakes I make and so if I like if I set a timer or something like um, Dawn from let's make a mess today she was I was watching one of her videos tonight uh, art in 20 and she said, I'm going to set the timer on the iPad here. And she said, I'm going to try not to look at it. And she said, no, I'm probably going to look at it. And see, that's, I think that's what kind of uh, messed her up a little bit. But she did it in under 20 minutes. But she kept, she kept saying, um, um, um. And I thought, you know, it's because you're on that timer. And you're looking at that timer and you're thinking, I can't go over, I can't go over. So you you feel rushed and that makes you say, um, a lot. I know because I have done the same thing, you know, set a timer for something. Um, <laughs> that was not for, uh, I was trying to think. I set a timer when I did a screen capture, uh, set the timer for myself and I told my audience, my viewers, I have... I have about 14 minutes to get this done and then things started going wrong because I felt like I had to rush to get it done and speak faster and all that. <clears throat> Perfection is not the goal. So <laughs> that's uh that's cool. That's still cool. The bottom part there. Um I'm going to paint this too, and I know I'm going to get it all over my hands. I'm going to paint it anyway. So, you know, that's when I really started to make, make messes was because, or start messing up, not make messes. Uh, when I could not, when I was on a timer, I knew I, I didn't have a lot of time to get my point across. I can't even remember. It was a... I think I was showing my viewers how I do my intros and outros in Camtasia. I think that's... No. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think that was. I'm, I'm not sure. Because I did another one shortly after where I talked about how to make... Uh, I'm not on a timer. I'm just... I'm doing. So I'm doing and doing and talking... Not to, not to coordinate it in that regard. Another video that I did, screen capture video, was how I make my intros and outros through PowerPoint. And now I'm thinking, did I already do something like that? I know I did something, how to make, you know, your thumbnail for your page, your YouTube page, and your, chan your banner art, channel art or something. I think it's called channel art. So I know I did that one. I don't think I was on a timer for that one. Maybe it was the other one. But once again, like the point I'm trying to make there is I set myself up for failure basically because I set a timer for myself and then because I I thought I didn't have as much time. Clearly, I could have just paused everything, fed the cats, and then come back in maybe more relaxed. So also we we YouTubers we tend to think I don't want to make this too long. I don't want to bother, you know, I don't want to spend too much of my viewers time or anything like that. And oh, I'm thinking that people are going to come to your channel and watch and they're not really, you know, your lawyer lawyer <laughs> your lawyer viewers. Your loyal viewers are not going to care if it's five minutes long or 50 minutes long they're still going to watch your channel am i right hit the like button <laughs> so this is the 
<laughs> this is, I don't know what this is. The paper dish vlog. Yep. Is there something to seal this with? What can you what can you use to seal alcohol inks? Aren't they permanent when they dry? And I ask this because I don't think they are permanent when they dry. I think they can uh, chip off, and I'll show you I'll show you what I mean in a minute as soon as I get done with this part right here. I probably cannot use the polyurethane sealer on this part. Blue says no. <laughs> Blue. Was that a burp or something? Well, he, he did eat plastic earlier, so... He ate plastic. So now I'm keeping an eye on him. I don't think... I don't know if that... That's very rough there. Doesn't that usually indicate... Do I kind of make circles? Again, looks weird. If you don't let it dry first, <laughs> Tammy's not letting it dry. And you get really cool designs. What does that look like? That looks, it's blue. <laughs> it's so blue. It's so blue, it's cool. Okay, so I think I'm done ranting and raving, and was I ranting? No, I was just making observations. Observations of the Crafty Cat Lady. Ooh, is that a new series? A new series. So I'm going to now, oh, I do a screenshot. What am I going to call this? <laughs> this video, this video. Observations of the Crafty Cat Lady while she paints the inside of the paper dish. I have five more of these that have not been painted yet, so I have to do a screenshot now. Smile. Okay, I don't want to turn it over. <laughs> I was going to turn it over, but I thought, mm. I had a piece of wax paper here. What did I do with that wax paper? Oh, I wanted to show you, that's it, I got sidetracked, uh, alcohol ink marker on plastic does not always turn out so well, sometimes it chips off. I just did the sign off for this one, so, <laughs> I forgot all about it, I thought, oh, look at that, and it's because I had it sitting down, it had something in it, and I moved it from one place to another to another, to another, back and forth, and so over time it kind of flaked off, or I think it rubbed off, not flaked off. I think it just rubs off. You know, wear and tear type of deal. And I said, when I, when I did the sign off, and I said, it's kind of distressed now, it actually doesn't look that bad. If that was too wild for you, because I'm, I'm a little bit zoomed in. Then I'm sorry about that. Uh, so it just looks kind of distressed now. It doesn't look that bad, actually. Okay. Hi, guy, do. Oh, I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna randomize, randomize the Decide Now app. Have a groovy day. I should just pick one of these and go with it, right? Nah, why be normal? Bye.